All right, everyone, welcome back to another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video with Fat Phil. I do apologize for no video yesterday, uh, as of the time of recording anyway. Um, but the reason I wasn't able to upload was actually that our, we lost power. We had a huge snowstorm here with really heavy snow, and uh, some power lines got hit, and we didn't have power until like 10 o'clock last night. So I ended up having to work at my parents' house. Um, it was a disaster. It was, it was really, really bad. I was actually outside, fun fact. Uh, we have a bunch of pine trees. And I literally had to go out with a broom and hit, and I'm like five foot nine, in case you guys didn't realize, like I'm a tiny guy. And I'm sitting out here, jumping in the air, trying to swat at these trees to knock the snow off of, because my pine trees were just about to, there were branches on the ground because of how heavy the snow was. So again, do apologize for no video. I want to talk today about when is the road ahead coming and what do I want to see that's in it? So like, subscribe, comment. Let's give a huge shout out to the channel members for continuing to support me, guys. Thank you again. I Again, I do apologize for no video. You all are a huge part of this channel and without you i am not able to do what i do because you guys just make it you know amazing you're great members of it and i love all of you let's get in here let's talk about this road ahead so before we get into this i just want to say something meathead is not the only piece of the puzzle for these road aheads i feel so often he gets shafted he gets the short end of the stick where we're always like where is it like it's all meathead's fault he's just the communicator right you can't shoot the messenger like he is the one who's creating it and posting it, but there's other pieces involved. He's got to collaborate with everybody else inside of, you know, EA, CG. So just want to make sure we understand that. But let's talk about the first thing I want to see addressed. And that's the GAC matchmaking. I feel the road ahead needs to address, hey guys, you know, we implemented this, it's working, or we still have some tweaks we need to make. Cause I can tell you, I'm still getting the Kyber squish. Like I still feel that happening. And if there's a Kyber squish, is that going to continue? Are they just doing that right now to write the matchmaking? Just give us an update on this. It doesn't need to change. We, I think we just deserve an update because we've seen that there's some players who've been in Kyber 1 who did not deserve to get there. Kind of, you know, what is the path moving forward to stop that from happening? So would like an update on it. Again, I think sometimes with these road aheads, sometimes them just giving out like two or three sentences saying hey this is working right or hey we're going to be looking into this trying to fix this like that's the kind of stuff that we want to see right it's almost like a i almost think we need a state of the galaxy but i think i wrote it you know in the road ahead i hope they would mention this you know next why did bo katan get different treatment than jedi knight cal Kestis? is bo katan you know every kind of come back every single month is that something they're trying to implement with new characters or was that just a special thing you know and if so, why? I think they, they owe us an explanation for it because it is vastly different. You think bo has been back more times than Jedi Knight Cal Kestis. So our epic confrontation character is going to be a monthly or is, you know, Cal, like, is it just a special thing where you're like, hey, a lot of players really said that they felt we rushed her or that we didn't get enough interaction with her. So we kind of kept her event going on. Um, that's what I'd like to see in this road ahead. Just something about that because... Even if they're just flat out honest and we're like, we needed people to spend more money, I don't think players would hate that answer. I feel like they, like sometimes giving us honesty, like being honest with us and upfront with us will get you a lot further than like, I don't wanna say being shady about it, but kind of just throwing it out there and letting us, you know, run with our imaginations. All right, next is the gear, gear economy status. So I want, I'd love them to give us an update on how they feel the gear economy is going. With these new raid changes, I feel it's very easy to get to gear 12 for a lot of players, especially for those older characters who don't need Kyrotech. I definitely think Kyrotech are still a big issue. Obviously, I'm not the best one to look at right now, but we're in a big horde phase. So, like, don't worry. These will be depleted very soon. Um, but what's the gear economy status? Are we pleased with it? Do you maybe need to think about updating some additional Kyrotechs? Like, what, you know, how do we feel about that? And in particular... Do we think there'll be a change to the gear 13 economy or again is that where it wants to be i just i'd like an update on that especially with the raids kind of continuing the way that they are how do they see this in the future and this doesn't need to be a big part of it which is what's the what's the what's the status then is relic 10 coming soon i think this has been a big question for over a year now honestly and as i've been saying the entire time i don't know that we're ready for it but I'd love to know if it is coming soon. And if it is coming soon, kind of what's the timeline? How will it be released? Is it going to be similar to Relic 9 where you still need, um, 
all the pieces before it so and that kind of brings me into the next point of like a relic status economy similar to the gear how do they feel that relics are transpiring what do they think the economy is here and what i mean you know with relic 10 coming is think about these right here where you need all of these pieces to go from relic 8 to relic 9 so you need additional error magnifiers and impulse detectors and zimbal cards like I think what would be a much better solution if they want to do relic 10 and not have to change the relic economy here i think they treat them like omicrons where um here we go here's a character who needs an omicron where okay hey you're just gonna equip 20 of them at this level just 20 at this level if that's the way that relic 10 is i don't know that we necessarily would need any changes to the relic economy but if they treat it like relic you know eight to nine where you need all these resources as well i think we would need that change to the relic economy because a lot of players are still struggling to um participate with relic eights and nines outside of those requirements for your capital ships galactic legends and even i would say like operations for rise of the empire you think rise of the empire starts at relic five so relic five kind of has become the new relic three relic seven is the new relic five Re you know like it, and then you have relic eight and nine that i still think are a little bit too rich for a lot of the player base i think as someone who's in the later stages of the game i found it easier to get relic eights but i'm ten and a half million galactic power like that should be what's easier for me now but players before that i think really have these struggles so i think they need to update at least give us a status update on what's going to happen like if relic 10 is coming we're going to make it easier to get to these relic levels if it's not coming we're pleased with this or we're going to add a few things to help players get to that point where relic 9 is a little bit more common in their account right so again doesn't need to be a change just update on the status of it because it's been a while since they've really said we're pleased with the you know gear and relic economies in the game um we just love that feedback and especially if relic 10 is coming which i'm not sure about all right the future of conquest so this kind of goes into um you know how do i say this i had this on my brain and maybe this is why i think they need a state of the galaxy more than just a road ahead but conquest has now been around for a couple of years and the hard mode conquest has continued to get harder and harder and harder but the gate to enter has is still at 4 million and the reason i bring that up think about that when you hit 4 million galactic power you the expectations for you to get the max crate are the same as those players with 14 million galactic power and then for those players with 14 million galactic power who have this massive account massive roster they're earning you know the maximum crate We'll think somebody like myself with 10 and a half million is earning a max crate and i guarantee you there are players with less gp than me also earning that max crate so is does conquest kind of need an update or another tier to it to allow those players with a larger roster to get a little bit more benefit from that game mode because conquest is something that's kind of a great equalizer if you will that what you put into it is what you get out of it kind of thing but also do those players at the top end really feel like they're getting the benefit of their massive account that they've put all these resources into when somebody with a far lower account like myself is earning the same rewards or even you know lower than me earning those rewards so you know is the future of conquest is it going to stay the same is there going to be a really hard mode like what what's going to change in conquest is it just going to stay status quo because it's been around for a while and even though the goalposts have moved that you need a little bit more in your account to get that max crate eventually you hit a point where it just doesn't matter and i feel like that level's kind of getting a little bit lower as players have access to galactic legends and things to help really push them through all right what's happening next you you release the stat which i think also needs addressed as far as is the future of this game going to be just releasing characters with you know they call this the single trooper aerial platform and i call this the single uh game mode use character right <laughs> it was really bad i thought i had a better way to say that um but that it's like a, it's really only useful in green arena and outside of that it makes like i think the funniest comment i saw was stat makes the fight 4v6 so i'd love to see them kind of come out and say hey this is the direction we're heading where we're trying to give you more ways to customize your account 
with characters who are designed for one particular game mode inside of a squad like General Grievous. And hey, they're going to release another 501st character that is Territory War and one that's GAC or something. Like, um, just thinking outside the box a little bit there, right? So I'd love to see that. But in particular, then, you know, is is a separatist gl coming a separatist ship what's the you know you release the separatists we've got the trade federation stuff um an admiral trench kind of sitting here like everybody knows there's there could be something coming with him and i'm just gonna warn you all that don't think that a galactic legend wouldn't require somebody like admiral trench probably one of the most hated conquest characters by a lot of the player base which i think is pretty unfair because i think he's a good character but if trench is the reason and if you're asking me my why why my trench is not geared up i can't take wat tambor away from sith eternal yet i'm not i'm not ready to do that when darth bane comes trench is moving up that relic list pretty soon because i have the full team ready to go for him but i just can't take wat tambor out um but yeah what's happening next with these things what is the big thing that's coming i feel like that's going to be in the road ahead and i'd love to see what the future is with these two characters Along those same lines, we talked about Conquest and what's happening next. We need the next Conquest unit. Please be Red 5. Please be Red 5. Um, you know, we've wanted Red 5 for a very long time. Give us the Farm Boy Luke. That's why the Lightspeed Bundle came out, right? Um, I'd love to see that. I think that would be really, really good for the game. I think a lot of players would feel rejuvenated, would go for him hard. Although it'd be very scary to know what those feats are going to require. Um, but yeah, I think we need the next Conquest unit. They said it's going to be Light Side, and I think we're due for a couple of Light Side Conquest units, if we're honest. So, yeah, I really think that does need addressed in the game, right? So then we have finally what I really want to happen. You know, other things in here, it's like, hey, these are some updates, some things. But what, like, is the really thing that I want? And I want Clone Wars Chewie to get reworked to a Galactic Legend level. I don't understand why this guy isn't on the same level as Leia Organa. It's a travesty that Clone Wars Chewie isn't better in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Like, this dude should be able to one-shot everybody in the game. And, yeah, I can't do this anymore. Um, now, what I really want is a new game mode. I think we're due for a game mode that... I feel they try... Like, the Galactic Legend events were nice, right? Those little things. But I think we need a game mode where... There's some additional rewards handed out, whether it's adding tiers to the assault battles, um, whether it's kind of like a galactic war node, but for end game players, right? Like, I feel that we need something to give players access to rewards that they don't have right now. I feel that Relic 7, Relic 8, as I said, Relic 7, Relic 8, if you made a game mode where those rewards were obtainable i think you could generate a lot more players investing in other things and you know putting some revenue back into the game because why would somebody buy stuff for relic 9 when they can't even get to relic 7 so i'd love to see a new game mode come to galaxy of heroes what that is i don't know but i i maybe new, new game modes the bad thing maybe new content but would love to see something change here give us something new to play whether it's another mission in territory battles or whatever um but yeah, guys, that's what I'd want to see in this road ahead. Hopefully we get it soon. We'll probably get it today, you know, as of the time of recording, and this video will all be for nothing. But like, subscribe, comment. I love all you. May the force be with you, and I will see you all in the next video. Cheers, guys.